Pamela Anderson is in a New York state of mind. The 54-year-old Baywatch bombshell packed three suitcases and left her ranch on Vancouver Island, Canada, last week to come to the Big Apple, where she's making her Broadway debut April 12 as Roxy Hart in Chicago. She's already playing the part of a real New Yorker, taking daily jogs in Central Park, incognito. That's how I get my dose of dogs every day, because my dogs couldn't come to New York, she told the Post. And just as Anderson has embraced her adopted home for the next eight weeks, the city has also welcomed her with open arms. I do get a lot of that when I walk around, like in the park, people do say, we can't believe it, she said. You feel like you're in it together. These incredible people that have reached the pinnacle of their success are just waiting for someone to come in and be successful too. Fans will get a chance to get even closer to Anderson, who said she'd probably be signing autographs at the stage door of the Ambassador Theater. I think it's all part of it. One place fans won't find her is shopping on Fifth Avenue, that's because as far as clothes go, she brought vintage items from her sartorial archives. I just started looking around and Brandon, Lee, Anderson's son, was like, no mom, all your stuff from the 90s is in style now. Just go shop in your closet, she said. I'll probably never shop in a store again. To razzle dazzle audiences, Anderson, who's also adding to her diverse resume by filming a documentary and writing a memoir that she called My Story, finally, from my mouth, has been dancing up to four hours a day and spending two hours doing voice and acting work. It's theater, there's no days off, she said. I'm loving every minute of it, though, I'm scared out of my mind, but I love that feeling. She said she will make the iconic role her own, I have a few little tricks up my sleeve that I'll pull out, by just being herself. I want to see what I'm made of, so I'm pushing it as far as I can, at the risk of, it, being complete humiliation. Anderson's mother, for one, knows her daughter will not fail, and told her, you've been rehearsing for this your entire life, 